Hello and welcome to another Big Orbit Games unboxing video. I'm Chris and today we are looking at a new Magic the Gathering Global Series box set which is Jiang Yanggu and Mu Yangling. So this is uh, kind of an interesting box set. They've basically taken cards that were from the Chinese market, um, so all created in China um, with like Chinese artists and the Chinese creative team and basically bought them over for a Western audience uh, in this cool little box set. So there's two decks, um, some cool cards in there. So a bit of backstory on the back, and uh, yeah, two 60 card decks um, with some like two Planeswalker cards and a premium double sided token and some information as well. So let's uh, see what we've got in here as I completely destroy the bottom of this box. There we go. We're in. Let's take a look at the insert first. So kind of cool artwork on them. Um, bit of a different style to what we're used to with Magic, but it's cool nonetheless. Um, got like info about well, info about the Global Series for a start, and also the two um, the two Planeswalkers that are in the set as well. So let's put that to one side and get cracking with the cards. That came out much easier than before. Um, I guess that goes with that one, and that goes with that one. Ah, which one first? Let's check who. Yang Ling first. So, um, six mana planeswalker. Um, comes in with five loyalty, plus two tiger creature can't be blocked this turn. Uh, not always what blue wants to be doing, but not bad. Um, minus three, draw two cards. That's exactly what blue wants to be doing. And minus ten, tap all creatures your opponents control. You take an extra turn after this one. Also, kind of what blue wants to be doing. So, overall, not too bad. Um, I mean, it's it's a blue planeswalker that, that does things. So, yeah. Uh, let's try and get into the pack. So a lot of this is based off uh, Chinese mythology. So there's a lot of like spirit creatures and things like that. So you've got Ancestor Dragon, um, which is a 6 mana 5-6 flyer. When one or more creatures you control attack, gain one life for each attacking creature. It's a very white card there. Uh, Rhythmic Water Vortex, 5 mana sorcery, return to two target creatures to their owner's hand. Search your library and or graveyard for a card named Mu Yan Ling. Reveal it, put it into your hand if you search your library this way. Shuffle it. So basically, two ways to get your Planeswalker either into your hand from uh, library or graveyard. Got Moon Eating Dog. So, um, 4 mana 3 3, as long as you control a Yanling Planeswalker, Moon Eating Dog has flying, which is kind of cool. Three of those in there. Got uh, Meandering River, so it just taps for white or blue, comes in tapped. Um, oh, they've, they've done it this way, where you get like the land inside like the rest of the cards rather than doing it like the Planeswalker packs where you get all the land at the back. So Earth Origin Yak, uh, 4 mana 2-4, when it enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1 until the end of turn. Uh, we do have a little visitor here as well, there's a teeny tiny little spider here. Um, <laughs> I'll just ignore him. Uh, got Brilliant Plan, so 5 mana draw 3 cards. Quillin's Blessing, uh, 1 white, tire creature get plus 2 plus 2 until the end of turn. Welkin Turn. Uh, two mana, two one flyer can only block other flyers. Cloak of Mists, two mana uh, enchantment, and enchanted creature can't be blocked. The Meandering River, another welcome turn. Heavenly Quillin, three mana, two two flyer. Uh, when it attacks, another target creature you control gains flying until the end of turn. Very Pegasus like that. Dragon's Presence, uh, three mana instant. It deals five damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Like a slightly better slash worse Gideon's reproach, I guess. Uh, purple Crystal Crab, 1 1 for 2, and when it dies, draw a card. 
not too bad. Stormcloud Spirit, 5 mana, 4-4 four, four Flyer. And the Quillet's Blessing, Colourful Fey Sparrow, a 2 mana, 1-3 Flyer. And really nice artwork on that. I have to say the artwork is, is actually really nice. Uh, I mean, things like that. It's just cool, you just don't get that on, like, the usual cards. And even the, um, like, the land artwork is really nice as well. The Dragon's Presence, one of them. Vivid Flying Fish, 2 mana 1-1. One, one. Uh, it has flying as long as it's attacking. Uh, Armoured World Turtle, a 0 5 for 3. Drown in Shapelessness, return target creature to its hand for 2. It's not bad bounce. Uh, brilliant Plan, draw 3 cards again. Drown in Shapelessness, Vivid Flying Fish. Uh, Nine Tail White Fox is 3 mana 2 2. When it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. That's kind of nice when coupled with uh, Mu Yang Ling's um, plus 2, where it can't be blocked. Another Turtle, another Crab, and another Fox. So yeah, overall, it's a um, pretty standard ish uh, white blue deck where you're just looking to you know, control the game a little bit getting some flying damage, making creatures unblockable. Um, nice little, little deck, really. Um, kind of cool. So then we've got the, uh, the green red deck, which is Jiang Yanggu, uh, who is a 5 mana, 4 loyalty planeswalker. His plus 1 is tire creature gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. Uh, minus 1 if you don't control a creature named Mawu. Create a legendary 3-3 three, three green hound creature token named Mawu. And his minus five until end of turn. Target creature gains trample and gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of lands you control. So this is actually pretty good planeswalker to be honest. Um, it's not spectacular on the the power level gauge, but I mean, he protects himself with his minus one. And the best thing about it is he creates this awesome token, which we shall have a closer look at now. If I can get into the pack. There we go. And this token is double-sided as well. And he's such a cute doggo. And he's a big doggo in that one. That's kind of cool. So little doggo, big doggo. Nice. So obviously that is separate from the main deck. Um, you've got Screeching Phoenix, 6 mana 4-4 four, four flyer. And has an ability, pay 3. Creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0 until the end of turn. Quite a nice mana sync and a 4-4 flyer for 6 in red is fairly respectable. Uh, Journey for the Elixir. So 3 mana sorcery, search your library and graveyard for a basic land card and a card named Jian Yanggu. Reveal them, put them into your hand and shuffle your library. Uh, that's quite nice because you can get land back from the graveyard or just search your library for it. But quite cool, uh, two of those in there. You've got Sacred White Deer, 2 mana 2-2. Two, two. Um, you can pay 4 and tap it, gain 4 life, activate this ability only if you control the Yangu Planeswalker. So, again, decent-ish mana sync. I assume there's some sort of ramp in here as well. Uh, Timber Gorge, Jewel Land, Confidence from Strength, 3 mana Sorcery, Target Creature gets plus 4, plus 4, and gains Trample until end of turn. And the best thing about this is it's Mau on the artwork. So, kind of nice. Um, that they've kind of gone with the theme of making Little Doggo big. Uh, Reckless Pangolin, 3 mana 2-2, two, two. whenever it attacks it gets plus 1 plus 1. Hardened Scale Armor, 3 mana Enchantment, Enchanted Creature gets plus 3 plus 3. Fae Snake, 2 mana 2-1 two, with Reach. Aggressive Instinct, um, 2 mana Sorcery, Target Creature you control deals damage equal to its power to Target Creature you don't control. Um, that's quite nice sort of semi-fight ability, um, especially for two mana. Actually, that's a pretty good card. Another snake, Earth Shaking Sea, so six mana, five, five with Trample. Uh, fire Omen Crane, five mana, three, three, Flyer. When it attacks, it deals one damage to target creature and opponent controls. Breath of Fire, two mana, deal two damage to target creature. It's a little bit underwhelming. Uh, giant Spider. 
as always, 4 mana 2 4 with Reach. Uh, cleansing Screech. Uh, 5 mana deal 4 to anything. It's alright, I suppose. Uh, Ferocious Zeng. 4 mana 4 4. Just 4 mana 4 4. Yeah, sure. Uh, I got Leopard Spotted Jow. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, but it's a 2 mana 3 1. And I believe that is it. So, kind of typical-ish green-red deck. Not really any ramp in there to speak of, other than Journey for the Elixir, searching for a land. But, you know. Um, the weird thing about this set is it's not legal in anything. So, um, you can't use the cards in any sort of competitive format. So... Obviously, nothing in standard or modern or anything like that. But normally, sets like this, you'd be able to use it in, you know, legacy, vintage, commander. But apparently not. Um, maybe they will update Gatherer to reflect being able to use it in those formats. But at the moment, it just literally says like set legality, nothing, uh, which is kind of interesting. So the idea is that you play the decks against each other, uh, or just in casual games. I mean, some of these cards. Are be alright in Commander because they give you um, like nothing's really really amazingly like powerful but you know that'd be alright in Commander I think um, and also there's some options where you might want similar effects but on differently named cards which this set does have so I mean, overall it's a nice little set um, especially if you're just going to be playing against each other and yeah, it's just nice to see like the cool artwork um, and like the whole theme of like Chinese mythology um, coming into the game a bit more. So yeah, worth picking up a set. And um, you can buy and sell any of the cards you've seen in the video on our website, bigorbitcards.co.uk. Uh, we're also selling the sealed product as well on there at the moment. And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, stay tuned for more unboxing videos in the future, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.